Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to discuss the last law under Newton's Law of Motion, which is the Law of Interaction. So before anything else, I'd like to say thank you once again sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel and of course sa lahat ng mga students na nakasubaybay para lang matuto sa ating um, usapang module na ito. So thank you, thank you sa lahat. So as we all know that um, since I already discussed the first law which is the Law of Inertia, the law of acceleration and this will be the last but definitely not the least which is the law of interaction well i hope that you have learned something from the previous discussion so we have so for today um for today's lesson let me discuss the law of interaction based on the modules that we have so um uh, as always our discussion would be based on what is the objectives, the competencies that is being reflected in your module. Allow me to read first the, the competencies of the lesson. Okay, it states here that it infer that when a body exerts a force on another, an equal amount of force is exerted back on it. And here are the objectives. Number one, explain Newton's third law of motion as law of interaction. Second, explain why action and reaction forces do not cancel each other and last apply the law of interaction to a given situation okay so what is this third newton's law of motion according to sir isaac newton for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so meaning to say interaction produces force and we have learned in our previous discussion that the force can be pushed or pulled and of course, um, based on the definition itself, one force is called the action force and the other one is called reaction force. So, neither force can exist without the other. That's why it is it's called interaction. To understand better about this third Newton's law of motion, I provide some examples that could help us out understand or understand deeper about the concept which we could relate also to our daily lives. Here are the examples. Alright, the first example, a book lying on a table. In that picture, it shows that the weight of the book is acting the table in a downward direction. This is the action force. The reaction of the table acts on the book in the upward direction and that is the reaction forces. So we know that we have two forces interacting with each other. One is the action forces, which is downward, and the reaction force which is upward force. Number two is the hammer and nail. So when hitting a nail with a hammer, the nail is driven into the wood. The nail must also exert a force on the hammer to stop it from moving. The next picture is that, first obviously, a man is pushing the wall. Alright, when they push the wall, according to the uh, law of interaction, the force of the wall pushes acid back. That's the reaction force. Sum it up with four characteristics of forces. Number one, force always occur in pairs. That's why we have action and reaction forces. Number two, action and reaction are equal in magnitude. Number three, action and reaction are opposite in direction. Number four, action and reaction act on different bodies. Okay, here are the other examples of law of action and reaction examples. First, jump. Paddle, shoot, walk, push, the rocket propulsion, the earth and the moon, hold an object, bounce a ball, pulling an object, and hitting a table. And one of the questions, uh, one of the objectives of the lesson is that we need to explain why action and reaction forces do not cancel each other. So why is so what's the reason behind it? So the answer is the reason we don't cancel out is because we move or we act on different objects. For example, foot picks ball and ball picks foot. And another example of so why we don't cancel each other is because if tire pushes road and the road pushes tire. So that's it. Alright, so that ends our lesson for today about the law of interaction. I hope that you have learned something today. And the most important thing is the law of interaction that states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So that ends my blog for today. And again, I hope that you have learned again something new. 
see you soon in my next vlog so bye